Welcome back, folks. Today, we're going to talk about the House of Perfume de Mali, that amazing French house. And I'm going to go through my top five. Before I do this, I just want you to know I'm leaving a link in the bio to a code for Selective Sense. What they do is they provide five milliliter glass decants. You can put them on your shelf. They look fantastic. It gives you an opportunity to try out fragrances before you buy them and you get to keep that fantastic decant that looks good. So, you, you know, this up until the end of May, there's a special. If you use my code here, you buy two, you get the third one free and there's 20% off as well once you follow the code to go in. So we're gonna leave that in the link, um, in my in, link in the bio. I know sometimes, you know, you wanna try a fragrance first before actually going out and spending your hard earned money to buy it. Well, this is a great opportunity to do that. All right, without further ado, let's get into my top five from the House of Perfume de Mali. I love this uh, house. Um, and what I do like about it too is the fragrances are, they're, they're a little more mainstream and they're very pleasing. And they're also easy to get. You know, many department stores carry them. You don't have to search uh, so hard to get them. And you can go to the stores, try them out as well, and then pick up, pick up your bottle. All right, so top five. And again, all of these, it was really hard, honestly, to go through this and pick my top five. I have a number of their fragrances, and particularly these, it could have been any order, quite frankly, but I have narrowed it down. I'm gonna give you my reasons why. So at number five is Haltane. This is from 2021. I'm just gonna spray it here. Oh, it's so smooth. Okay, so you've got notes of clary sage, you've got lavender, bergamot, you've got some saffron, some praline. I'm really getting a lot of that praline type of note. You've got oud and cedarwood. So Haltain, I feel it's more of an evening fragrance. I think it's very deep, very luxurious. The praline to me dominates here in addition to sort of an, the oud as we dry down and with the cedarwood. I, to me, it's not a daytime fragrance. I find it projects a lot. Um, and I've worn it in the evenings. You dress up, you go out, and I've got a lot of compliments with this Haltane. I know there's others that have copied Haltane as well, and it, it's, it, it is getting a really good name for itself. It could have been further up, but I think um, because I haven't maybe worn it as much, haven't found the occasion to, I put it at number five, but you couldn't do wrong to get it. It's a really, really versatile and very nice fragrance. Okay, number four is Late, and I believe this is from 2016, and it's, it's really a very pleasing fragrance. Mm, it's probably the most sort of mainstream out of the bunch that I have selected here. And it's a compliment getter. And a lot of people love this. And you know, you may say, well, this a lot of people may have it, but you know, you'll be surprised. You're gonna get compliments on this one. You really will. So Leighton, I think you can wear day, you can wear at night. It is very versatile um, in the way it in the, in the way it smells on you. Um, apple, lavender, you've got bergamot, you've got some orange on this, geranium, violet, there's some jasmine vanilla, cardamom, sandalwood, there's guyot wood, and there's patchouli in this. It is um, one that could be a signature fragrance. Um, I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10. I mean, maybe, you know, I would say an eight and a half. Um, I really like it. I know there's Leighton Exclusive out there. I don't own Leighton Exclusive, so I'm not putting it on my list, although I do like it a lot as well. But I think if you're looking for one that you think I'm gonna wear it all the time, as a signature fragrance, you, this is a very good one to choose, and that is late from the House of Perfume de Marley. Number three, I'm gonna talk about Herod. This is one from 2012, and it's known for its tobacco-like smell. Um, it is a very, very pleasing uh, fragrance. I think it's an evening one as well. Um, it's an almost perfect tobacco note. You're, it's not, you know, tobacco vanille and the similar, you're getting that, that really push of the vanilla with a little bit of harshness. Um, there's no harshness in Herod. It's almost a perfect tobacco fragrance, right? So you've got cinnamon, um, you've got some peppers, you've got woods, you get the tobacco leaf with osmanthus, you've got labdomen, which is always a pleasing note to have. There's vanilla, cedar, musk, cypriot oil, and vetiver. I think to me, it's, um, it's probably 
a tobacco, um, many, a lot of people don't like tobacco fragrances, right? So it's probably one that anybody could wear, even if, you know, tobacco is not sort of your game in terms of the fragrance you have, because it's, there's no harshness. It is so smooth. It is so pleasing. It's a compliment getter. Um, probably evening. I think here it is an evening type of smell uh, because of that sweetness you're getting with that vanilla and with the tobacco as well and the cypriot oil. I think it's an evening one, but it's a compliment getter and you're going to really enjoy this one. Many of you would have tried it, but if you haven't, I would encourage you to get your hands on Herod. Um, really the perfect, the perfect tobacco base fragrance. Okay. Number two, it may be a surprise to many, um, but this one is Pegasus Exclusive. Um, just going to spray it, then I'll explain why I didn't pick the original uh, Pegasus. Oh, I just, I just love this one. Okay, so the original Pegasus I found was a little too almondy for me. Um, that, that just that nut smell was a little too much. This, it's blended to perfection. So the notes on here, you've got cardamom, you've got heliotrope, you've got pink pepper, you've got bergamot, almond, you've got lavender, geranium, jasmine, lots of notes here, guys, okay? Vanilla, guyac wood, there's oud, there's sandalwood, there's amber. It is very, very pleasing. You see, there is an almond here, but it's not as strong and is not as overbearing as, in my view, the original Pegasus. I always get compliments on this. It is a powerful fragrance. You can wear this day in, day out, but I would be careful on the trigger because this will project, okay? To me, um, you know, it's, it's, if I was gonna say what I feel smells good on me, I might have pushed this back a bit to be number four or so, but just other people for some reason love Pegasus exclusive on me. I just get a lot of compliments. My wife, others, they just, they just when I put it on, they say, what are you wearing? Keep, keep wearing that, okay? So I'm going by sort of a compliment type of thing when I when I put this at number two, that just gets a heck of a lot of compliments and it is so well blended. There's a lot of notes as, as I've described. I think it's really a fantastic fragrance. All day, night, Pegasus exclusive. My number one from this house, the Perfume Damali house, is one of those that I would just simply call a masterpiece. Okay, it just, it just, it is wow, wow, wow. Okay, so Pegasus Exclusive is 2020. Carlisle, um, I believe, might have been 13 around there, but I could be mistaken. We'll leave, we'll leave an, a note on that. Oh, okay, look at guys. Carlisle is a 10 out of 10. Okay, you can't go wrong with this. Day is a signature, fragrance worthy. It is so alluring, it projects. You can get compliments every time. Nutmeg is in this. You've got some beautiful saffron. Tonka bean, the tonka bean is quite prevalent here. There is, there is rose as well, but a very subtle rose in this. It's not an overpowering one, okay? Um, patchouli, there's vanillas, there's a, a poponax, and I think that is really a combination of myrrh and, and honey. Um, it has so many notes, so well blended. Um, day or night, this is, if there's one fragrance that you, uh, you if anybody asks me, what is your favorite? Perfect and Molly, hands down, it's always this one. You know, I don't, I haven't read that there's tobacco in this, but there are some similarities to Herod, but it just is a step up from Herod, quite frankly. Um, in fact, you know, it's my fragrance of the day. I'm gonna put a bit more on it because I just love it, right? I just adore this fragrance. I don't give it, enough in terms of wearing simply because i have a lot of fragrances but now coming back to it it's one that i'm going to really push a lot more so if you're given a choice in my opinion to pick one perfume de Mali, i have not met anyone who has disliked carlisle okay and i think both men and women can wear it all of these men and women can wear you know you're getting to a point you're sort of in niche here where there's just pleasing notes for, 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 for all gender. And you know, you could really, these smell different on everybody's skin. You know, I could spray this on my wife, spray it on me, and it is going to be different. So remember that, you know, we don't have to say, well, this is man, this is, this is a woman's fragrance. And sometimes it's obviously clear, something is more masculine than feminine. These ones here, to me, they all smell quite masculine. For my wife, put them on her, they're gonna smell feminine. Okay, so just keep that in mind when, you know, don't sort of pigeonhole fragrances and, and be in a position where you might miss out, miss out on something that you otherwise would have enjoyed.
Okay, folks, there you have it. My top five fragrances from the House of Perfume Damali. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, subscribe, comment, um, and follow us on TikTok, follow us on Instagram as well. And use that code, Selective Sense, that, that, that I'm giving in the, in the uh, description here. Use it. You can try out fragrances. Get that five mil uh, decant, okay? And you know you're gonna you buy two, you get one free. They're quite inexpensive as well, um, and the twenty percent off as well. So don't forget that, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for other houses you would like me to look at, other fragrances you'd like me to review, I'd be so happy to do that. You all take care of yourself. The fragrant lawyer out.